Beardo Benjo. Happy Friday, everyone. Welcome to the weekend and the end of another week. We've made it. We're here. It is the weekend. Let's rejoice. This is my last video for the week because I don't tend to make videos at the weekends. I do sometimes if I'm feeling particularly spicy, but not this week. I'll be relaxing all weekend and getting on with some other projects. I wanted to finish this week off with a video looking at this fantastic Bioshock mod that has had a lot of press recently because it's just been completed or brought up to the level that I think the creator really wanted it to be at. I checked this out quite a long while ago when it was still fairly fresh, fairly limited and fairly simple, but it's come a long way. This is probably the closest thing we're ever gonna get to Bioshock VR. I'd love to be wrong about that. I would love for 2K to come along and give us a VR version of all three of those fantastic games be it for PC or for PlayStation or for Quest or whatever. I would love that to happen, but I don't see it happening anytime soon. So for now, we have this, an eight part full campaign set in the world of Bioshock, built in the world of Half-Life Alex. Amazing, this is the power of mods. This is the power of giving tools to communities and fans that are passionate about the product and about projects that they want to bring to life. I love this stuff. I absolutely do. I'm going to be playing through probably the first hour or however much I can get through in my lunch break. Um, and I'll be checking it out and talking about how well it runs, how well it looks, and just kind of how much it feels like a proper Bioshock game. I'm very excited to be checking it out. A few little points before I jump in. This has actual items and textures and objects from Bioshock. They had to approach 2K to use those apparently. There are working Vita chambers that save your progress, hacking mini games. Honestly, if you're a fan of Bioshock, VR and Half-Life Alex, then this is genuinely a dream come true. Let's return to Rapture and check out this amazing Bioshock mod for Half-Life Alex. Let's take a look at some gameplay. Ah, <sighs> Half-Life Alex, my old friend. I'm back once again. Now, to play the Return to Rapture Bioshock mod that's been created for Half-Life Alex, you need to install the eight different parts of this mod. It is a pretty sizable thing. It does say here, ensure to download all eight maps of Return to Rapture. You'll transition from map to map. This is a full campaign. You know, this is going to be the closest thing we probably get to an official Bioshock VR. Uh, you know, I could be wrong. I'd love to be wrong on that. But um, for now, this is going to have to do. Right, we're going in. So, difficulty is set to normal. Movement is set to continuous because I like that smooth movement. Weapon hand is right. And all the eight parts of Return to Rapture are installed and ready to go. So, let's, let's jump in. Oh my god, I'm on the plane. There's another person on the plane. Oh my god, this is considerable. What is this? Is that a picture of... Me and my family. Okay, I can't. Can I go over here? Can I get? Give me that. Passport for Jack Wine Wineand. Oh no! Don't put me in a plane crash. Don't put your tray table up. It's going to be a problem. Love. Things are going to going to go wrong. Ah. Oh yeah! Immediately, she's dead. She's immediately dead. Um, I'm not though, so that's cool. Can I have some wine? Oh no. Wait, wait, wait. no, 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 no. Okay, so it seems like I'm playing as I'm playing as Alex, aren't I? Master Builder, whip. Oh, I missed the name. Return to Rapture. Oh my god, this is so cool. This. Bioshock has endured like crazy. It's such a special franchise for so many people, and I'm one of those people. I love the franchise. And I, I do worry about its future without the original team working on it. But I'd love just to see a, you know, a, a VR version, a, a, a conversion or a remake of those original games. Oh! Did you really just survive a fucking plane crash? I Good did. One tough cookie. Mate, Thank you. you might be asking, who the hell's this? Well, the name's Larry. I figure we can help each other out. If you catch my drift. You stay safe out there. We'll be in touch soon. Mm -hmm. Will do. 
Now, I remember this vaguely because this mod's been around for a little while and it's just kind of... It's been finished or polished off recently to, to a, a much higher degree. But I do remember this. This is amazing. Now, this looks a lot better than when I last played a Bioshock mod on the on Half-Life Alex. Oh, crap. Fuck me, that's a big statue, isn't it? It was from the original founder, <laughs> Andrew Ryan. He's not among us anymore. Are you seeing this? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so they've blended... Yeah, they've blended Half-Life Alex with Bioshock. You've got proper Bioshock sounds, obviously pro proper Bioshock environments, but you're playing as Alex and you're speaking to, to Russell still. Um, why have I got Snap Turn on? What's that about? Can we get rid of Snap Turn, please? There we go, a smooth turn on now. Okay, Alex, time for you to get into the bathosphere. You're going to like the view. Am I? Am I really going to like the view? I like what I'm seeing right now. I think this is absolutely stunning. Oh, dead person there. Hello? You're dead. Is that some ammo for me? Thank you. What else you got? A box. I want that. What's this? Can I have this? It's an alkaline battery. What am I supposed to do with that, mate? Hey? Let's get into the bathosphere. Bathosphere? Bathosphere? Oh. Oh. What is, what is it? I'm drowning in here. <laughs> I am Andrew Ryan, and I'm here to ask you a question. Go on then, mate. Is a man not entitled to the sweat of his brow? Hmm. No, says the man in Washington. It belongs to the poor. No, says the man in the Vatican. It belongs to God. No, says the man in Moscow. It belongs to everyone. I rejected those answers. Instead, I chose something different. Oh. I chose the impossible. I chose rapture. Is that Big Daddy alive? City where the artist would not fear the censor, where the scientist would not be bound by petty morality, where the great would not be constrained by the small. This is very, very cool. Alex, come in. Hey, Alex. Oh, there you are. Can you hear me? I'll be ready. I like the splicing up of the audio files from the original game to kind of create cohesive, partially cohesive conversations. I do remember this. I've played this first section back when this was still in development, but it seems like it's, it's grown a huge amount since then. Um, as I say, eight parts you need to install, and it's created its own campaign. Now, one thing really cool about this is, obviously, they've used original assets. Apparently, they've had to reach out to 2K um, to ask whether they can use the assets, but some of these things are actual assets from Bioshock, and a lot of the stuff will be just items from Half-Life, like these, these cases and stuff. Um, it'll be interesting if I can spot any of the original assets. I think the um, Bathosphere is is spot on and the Vita chambers look pretty damn good too uh, right how do we get in here so Alex these are the famous Vita chambers I'll have to configure them to your DNA now go back and hack the panel on the side please <sighs> it's the hacking mechanic from Alex I should have oh bugger I should have expected no less come on can you have another go now this is... I'm so garbage at these things, I just go too quickly. This is the power of kind of giving people the ability to access modding tools and create things. We, we don't currently have a Bioshock VR game, but there's a huge community of people who love that game and that franchise. So someone has been able to come in and create something pretty substantial using Half-Life Alex's tools. Okay. From now on, when you get Fantastic. your ass smoked, you'll spawn right here. Amazing. You know, we've got working um, via chambers. <sighs> What's that out there? It's a big sister. Just, just dead, or just, or spying on me. I'm not sure. Hopefully dead. Don't like them. Never liked them. Like them as characters. Don't like to fight them. 
No, I want you to go over there, please. Thank you very much. So this is the kind of stuff I really love. Oh dear. Now open these games up. Give give the fans access to the tools to make projects like this because they're born out of love. Sander fucking Colin. You'd better watch out for this lunatic. I'm going for him. Look at the size of that. Is that has that been like sized up? That's huge. Okay, some Russian. That is not a head crab, that's a body crab. That's disgustingly big. This is kind of following the um, the way that the original game opens up. Very similar. Hello? What is that? Is that meant to be like the injection tool they use to get the plasmids out of the... Ah, people! Can't use it. Oh, there is one of them there, though. Okay, so we have got upgrade materials as well. Whoa, that came from a long way away. I wanted that, actually. Thank you. Come here. Right, um... I think you're still fighting Combine. I don't know if there's any way to mod in wholly different enemies. That's... Is there blood in the streets? That's from the original Bioshock, right? Have some chosen to destroy themselves with careless splice? <laughs> I will make no proclamations. I will dictate no laws. Great Fantastic. Slowly, but with wisdom. It is our impatience. So this is Little Timmy's workshop. Throw some junk in, and you'll get your precious resin. Throw some junk in, and I'll get my precious resin. What what classifies as junk? Is this junk? That's a bit big, isn't it? Can I get it in? Nope. Oh, come on. In the hole. It, please don't... Right. Okay, can we just get... Is that junk? I mean, no, it, it is junk, but like, is it... Okay, that's gone. Um, That's definitely junk, right? Too big. Um, what about you? You're junk. No, okay. I need more junk. Yes, that is definitely, definitely junk. Yeah, come on. Right, so we've got a a, a machine that dispenses um, resin. Gatherer's garden. Do these look... These look spot on. These have got to be some of the original bits and pieces. They look absolutely perfect. That's the original. Is she in there? Hello? Come out. I can put my hand in there. If she's in there, she's dead. Oh, God. Right. Where am I going? I've got myself a piece of resin. It's time to leave, surely. Oh. Hello, lads. Ooh, that was a bad move. Shot it while it's in my bloody hand. It's okay. I'm doing all right. Oi! Jesus Christ! Stupid combine. Whoa! That's gone right in his head. Surely. Yes. Come on. Thank you. Oh, as if I died. Alex? Damn it. Alex. Okay, so Vita Chambers, they are basically your save points. Should have guessed that. Um, I just went back there. I don't know if you can do manual saves. I guess you can. Come here. Oh. Seamus. They told me you were going to be a problem. Now I see you're going to live up to your reputation. I'm not a problem. Well, I'm nice. Fine by me. I like a good challenge. 
I'm sure we'll be in touch soon. Right. God, I really... Really underestimate the enemies in this game. Haven't played it for so long, I'm super rusty. But they were coming at me very aggressively. And I don't have my laser sight, which I was so used to by the end of Alex. Oh, no. I'm really nasty, not nasty, liking nasty. the vibes in this tunnel. No, I don't you like it. You better move on. Look at this guy. Oh, he was much more terrifying when he was kind of looking at me. Now he's a bit just wibbly wobbly. Shook him up. Look at that, Look at that wobbly jaw. There's not, there's not a lot better. You know, than the wobbly physics of Half-Life Alex. Half-Life Alex. Howdy, howdy, howdy. Oh, yes, I need that. Come here. Fantastic. Anything else in there? What was a person with some ammo? Oh, they've fallen over. That's fine. This is so well made. This is a mod. Hello? You're in the wrong game, mate. Full on wrong bloody video game. Seriously. Seriously. Christ. Ammo? 30 bullets. I'm going to chew through. Why oh, is the sound as. Christ. Whoa. Right. We need to do something about this. Uh, should have dealt with most of that problem. Why have you got a pipe? Put that pipe down. We're good. We're good. We're good. That one's still alive? No, obliterated. Absolutely obliterated. I actually might take that with me. Can I get it from here? Probably a bad idea if someone shoots me, but at the same time, it's good to have this with me, right? Good. Let's look over there. Nice. Okay, I guess I'm going through here. Shit! Combine. Be careful. They didn't see you yet. They've seen me now. Three. Definitely. <sighs> this is great. I think the Half-Life Alex modding community in general is fantastic. Um, there's so much content beyond just the core game and the core game's massive as it is you know for a VR game we're used to oh that's really sad look at this dead cat it's got a bloody corkscrew in it um yeah beyond oh that's a picture of the cat alive and then it's who would do that that's horrible um yeah I mean people are used to VR games being quite a bit shorter in general I think um the price point is obviously reflective of that most of the time but Half-Life Alex came along and you know, that's, it's, a, it's a long game. And then you look at all the modding tools as well. It's a substantial package. Um, definitely worth the, the money you invest into it. Hello. And then you look at all the modding tools and the, the stuff the community is building. And it's just infinite, you know. And that's it's just very... It's very Valve. It's what they do. All right, save point, please. Thank you. I think that's saved. A little bit scary not seeing a save screen pop up. But I'm pretty sure that's an auto-save when you go into those. Um, God, these guys are covered in ammo. Everything's going to be okay. This is this is just very clearly a labour of love, you know. This, hello. I see you there, by the way. Yeah, yeah. I'm looking at these blueprints, so I've got you know other things to. Can you hold that for me? Thanks, pal. Cool. Um, not sure what that is. Uh, yeah, very clearly a labour of love. You know, someone's clearly a huge fan. The creator's obviously a huge fan of Bioshock. And they've done a wonderful job in recreating this. I remember this section. I remember coming through here in the original game. Diverges off. It goes off into these two little sections. And then you go up the big stairs. It's, it's all exactly as it should be. There'll be some liberties, I'm sure. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Right, let's get rid of him. He's a problem. Christ! Go. That was a pretty good throw. Not good enough. Ooh. 
action packed. Well done there. Okie dokie. Get rid of that. I don't know how long this is. Um, I expect it's fairly long if it's eight individual chunks that you need to download. It's eight individual maps, I think, that you're moving between. Oi! Give me that. What do you use the resin on then? I guess it, it must have the upgrade. Um, upgrade machines from the from the base game, and you must be able to add like sites and stuff. Always check. Always stuff hidden in this bloody game. Okay. Right, through we go. I remember this bit as well. And you go up to the second layer. <laughs> Oi! Oi! What is this? Ridiculous. Absolute ridiculousness. Um, I remember going up in an, in an elevator. Looks like you'll have to climb. Oh, fantastic. Okay. We climbing, we climbing, we climbing the pole. Yeah, this wasn't in the original. Um, that's fine, though. All the elevators are broken. Rapture is in a oh, bit of a sorry state. Where do I go? Oh, my God, what is that? Hello. You're right there next to me, aren't you? Can I have this? Shit. Whoa! Idiot. That was horrible. That was horrible. I'm going to set him on fire. Can we set him on fire? Just cheeky one of those. No. Waste of ammo. <laughs> I will never not hate it when you kill a headcrab zombie and the headcrab just decides to still be alive. It winds me up something chronic. Um, right, so... Ah, yes. Let's get this. I still hold out hope that um, 2K will, at some point... Oh, no. Create a... Try to come back now, you piece of shit. Well, that's just not very nice, is it? Let's just be honest. And you spelt peace wrong. Come on, if you're going to insult a dead person, you got to do better than that. What the f... What is that? That's got to be from Bioshock, right? Have that. Enjoy it. Um, yeah, I still hold out hope that uh, 2K will at some point just do like a Bioshock VR collection. Drop it on PlayStation or something. Um, well, I ideally want it on all formats. I think Bioshock probably run on the Quest as well. It's an older game, it's 360. You know, maybe not the um, the fanciest, newest version with all its kind of bells and whistles, but I think it certainly would run on a Quest or Quest 2. Um, yeah, I'd like to see those games ported properly into VR. Well, it's nice to finally meet you face to face, Mrs. Vance. Now, Who are you? I found my own way of transportation here. But I'll keep you informed and as safe as possible. Uh, bye. Who the hell was that? He just introduced himself and then ran off. Right. Alex, is that a shotgun? Where's the shotgun? Would you kindly pick it up? <laughs> Would you kindly? This is a shotgun. Da da da. Oi. Okay. There we go. We ready? I think we're ready. Let's blow some faces off. Look at this. Look at the atmosphere. Look at the lighting. It's perfect. Fair play. Fair bloody play. Uh, how am I doing? Oh, I could do that, actually. Don't throw things at me. That's one of the things I hate most about you. Is when you throw things at me. It's not nice. Oi. What have I said about being alive when you should be dead? There you go. Dinner time. Nom nom nom. I've got both of them. Thank you. Is that an... Oh, no. I thought that was a uh, plasmid over there, but it looks like it's just a poster of a plasmid. Hello. Didn't see you there. That was probably uncalled for, but uh, I didn't like you. I don't like the way you looked, and I don't like the threat you posed. Got it. Ah, an Adam Slug. This is the reason people got addicted in the first place. 
Besides getting blasted, this is also good for boosting your health. But be careful! Sometimes it'll attract unwanted attention. <gasps> oh, this is so cool! Deactivated. This is awesome. Okay, I got some ammo from it, and some pills, and a tiger. Anything else in here? No, I think it's done. Circus of Values machine that I can actually interact with. That's just brilliant. Get lucky, only three tries. Okay, so I get three goes at trying to get something out of that. Are you dead or just asleep? You look asleep. Are you d what? Dead. Definitely dead. Almost 100% sure about that now. Let's just cover that up. Don't want to see that. Come on. No. There we go. There we go. Looks happy now. Right, what is down here? I've not even been able to check because I keep dying. Thank you for the ammo, ma'am. Come on. See? Oh god, no! Really? Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Man, did he get a grenade out at the end there? I feel like he tried, but I don't think he succeeded. That's okay. Oh, if at first you don't succeed, you're probably dead. Um, okay, so we've got some grenades here. I'm probably going to use this. I'm going to store that. I'm going to hold that. Uh, yeah, that's probably the best way to play this right now. Right, that's where I put the slug. Come on. Oh, heels. I don't really need them right now, but I'll take a bit anyway. Come on, juice me up. Oh no. Monsters. Oh god, please, no, not more than one. What the f... No bullets. Come on, get your gun out. Where is it, where is it? Ah, oh, Alex, that was vile. It was vile. I didn't like that one bit. Oh, yes, yeah, like a theatre. What you got for me? Oh, he's fallen over. Sorry, that was his load-bearing ammo. As soon as I took that, it all fell apart. Uh, oh, I can see you up there. Yeah, I remember this bit um, vividly. And you get on the other side. And oh, that's... God. What? Alex, hurry! What? What's happening? Oh, come on. Come off it, man. You think you're really going to beat me with that? Whatever that is. Ah! Idiot. Oh. Right. How do I hack this one? Is it, is it broken, this one? Oh, no, it's just already ready to go. Oh, thank you. Thank you, save spot. Right, so I don't think we're getting a big daddy. That's understandable. Oh, oh, can I get in there? Oh, I can't get in there. I can't go to the gatherer's garden. Maybe I can go round. I've got to be able to go round, right? I want to go to the gatherer's garden. Oh, maybe I can't go round. No. Oh, no, maybe I can. Yeah, yeah, should be good, should be good, should be good. Somebody spent a lot of time on this. Yeah, somebody's insane. There we go. Oh, me in. What? <gasps> it's not a big daddy, but it's definitely a horrible, horrible combine person that wants to kill me. We push onwards. Bless you. My back. What the hell? Alex. Hello. This point on. There's a lot of activity. Please Thanks. be careful. I'm always being careful. Thanks. You don't have to thank me, Alex. You're the one doing all the hard work here. You strange upside-down mining person in the ceiling. What? Who are you? Alex, how nice to see you again. Hello. I was starting to miss you. 
Oh, that's so sweet. Some soldiers behind, uh, Thank you. Well, they needed something to play with. <laughs> Have fun. I'll shoot them right in the face, and then you'll regret leaving them behind. I think this is probably a fairly good place to leave it. Um, this is quite clearly a massive labour of love. All the details, the posters, the environments, they're lovingly recreated from Bioshock. You can tell that the creator, who I will check the name of and I'll put it in the description and all that good stuff, um, really loves the product. Loves the universe, loves the franchise, and has managed to mould it and meld it with Half-Life really, really well. Um, this mod is available for free. You have to install all eight parts on the Steam Workshop for Half-Life Alex if you want to try it out yourself. Um, and I would, I would say, honestly, come and check it out. Can I have you, please? Thank you very much. Come and give it a go. Uh, as I said, completely free. Why wouldn't you? Expand your Half-Life Alex content by... Yes. By coming and playing this. Which is very, very good. It is... Hard. It feels a lot harder than I remember the main game being. It's been a while, certainly, since I've played Half-Life Alex, but I feel like I'm dying a lot more in this. Um, and I'm being punished a lot more. The enemies are doing much... Am I just getting rid of them too early? Who knows? Um, yeah, I feel like I'm dying a whole lot, but that might just be because I'm rusty. Yeah, come and check this out. It's very, very good Bioshock mod for Half-Life Alex. Really, really enjoyed it. Its performance is a little bit lacking compared to the main game. It feels like it's loading in quite a lot, so it, it's... It runs perfectly fine, but it isn't quite as smooth as the core Half-Life Alex experience. You can tell mainly when you're moving quite quickly or spinning quickly, you can tell that the frames aren't quite as smooth as they are in the main game, um, which I have no problems running. It always runs super smooth, but this feels like it's running a little bit, a little bit less smoothly. Come on, come on. No, you're gonna die again. I see your head, I see your head right there. Why are you hiding? Why are you hiding? Exactly. Yeah. Oh, no. Yeah, seriously, come check this out, guys. Very, very good. It's available on Steam now. You just need to install all eight parts, and you can experience a full-blown Bioshock-themed story within Half-Life Alex. But you are still fighting the Combine, of course. How cool would it be if they could actually mod in splicers and big daddies? Gee, that nearly knocked me over. Christ. Anyone else? Anyone else? Anyone else? Yep. I can't remember this section as well. Yes, come on. Get down. I think I'm just rusty. I think that's why I've been dying, because I, see, I feel like I'm getting kind of into it now. I'm feeling a lot more um, comfortable the more I play. Oh, come here. Where are you hiding? Nice. Hit. Hit those. Just hit those. One shot on them. And we're sorted. Oh, done. Finally, a little bit of a respite. Okay, so I'm going to go down to the Vita Chamber, which looks like it's broken, and I'm going to save, and then I'll pick this back up on a different day. Hopefully you've enjoyed, guys. If you have, as always, please leave a like, leave a comment, and hit subscribe. And I'll see you soon for another one. I'll see you next week. Signing off now. I don't tend to do videos at the weekends. Oh, my God, I've killed myself. Please, no. Uh, um, yeah, don't tend to do videos at the weekends. Um, so, yeah, I'll see you next week for another round of videos. I'm definitely using them right, aren't I? Take care of yourselves, guys. See you later. This one's broken. Oh, no.